Rosado, this is the board meeting. And are you also on your Dr. George? Yes. Okay, great. Okay, um, Mr. Hauser, we're going to get started here in a second, okay? Okay. Dr. Oh, Smith, one down the third to a five. If I lose you, I'll be right back, okay? Okay, we will. Text, if we lose you, text back to you, okay? We'll do. Okay. Call to maintenance to order. It's my responsibility to announce that an executive session was held at 6.30 to discuss personnel and legal issues. Everyone rise for the flag. If, uh, if we could, after we have the uh, flag salute tonight, uh, again, you may or may not be aware, um, there was a, uh, a school shooting this afternoon in uh, Uvalde, Texas, and uh, 14 elementary students lost their lives today. So after the flag salute today, if we just have a quick moment of silence, uh, for teachers, their families, um, for the first responders who have to deal with that incident, I would appreciate it. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yep, since ninth grade. 
and I am Mrs. Zaleski. I run the Global Scholars Program, and I am her, a French teacher, but I kind of help to oversee this program for all of the 9 through 12 students in world language who are working on their Global Scholars portfolio. And we had an opportunity to apply through the Pennsylvania State Modern Language Association for a scholarship for outstanding students in world language. And I approached Maya and a couple of their students, and she agreed to write a letter to apply, and I had to write a letter as well. And Ms. Harvey and I um, collaborated and said, you know, she would be a great student to nominate. And lo and behold, um, she was chosen as first in the state of Pennsylvania out of all of the um, high school students in world language that applied. Um, they were able to select her um, based on um, a 3.75 grade point average in world language, as well as a 3.5 overall GPA in all of her courses, um, and also pursuing a career that she will further her studies in languages. So I know that she has chosen Pitt as her university, and she is going to be studying engineering, correct? And also possibly um, ensuing another minor in Spanish and or Hindi. And she also, this year, applied to the NSLIY program through our government, which is through the National Security um, Department of our government, where she studied Hindi and was very, very successful. So she will be recognized this Thursday morning at our award ceremony here at the high school for a multitude of things within our department and I'm sure other academic awards as well. So we are really, really, really proud of you, Maya, and we um, are very much going to miss you. Ms. Harvey, would you like to add anything? Um, Mrs. Zaleski said most of it, uh, the wonderful things about Maya. I would just add that as her teacher, I was not surprised that she came in first place. She is been in love with languages and learning about culture since ninth grade. She's been one of our most active members of Global Scholars. She's a hard worker in my classroom. I'm really going to miss her, but I promised them I would save the tears for Friday, so I'm going to hold off on that. But she, um, when she applied for a, the State Department's uh, National Security Languages Institute for Youth, um, I was so excited to be able to write and support her in that, and she was selected from a group of students throughout the country. So it is a very selective group to do that is able to do that. And she did that on top of her other classwork. So that was a th three month obligation that she did. So anyway, she is well deserving of this award and, and really uh, <coughs> exemplary of our language students and the hard work they put in and, and a model to follow. So we appreciate you having us here to help honor her because she deserves it. Because my family lives in India and they speak 
Hindi, and I've never been able to really communicate with them. And just throughout my journey, just to say even basic words, hi, hi, hello, how are you? Um, I don't know if you've ever had that feeling before, but to speak to someone on their level, it just opens up so many different connections and relationships, and to break down that language barrier, um, you know, so many opportunities could be hindered if you can't speak to someone on their language, and when you can, it can open up so many horizons, so I'm very excited, and that was all support from um, Ms. Harvey and Ms. Zaleski and the rest of the language department, so and thank I you so much. When this came across my desk when you sent the email, I just thought, how special, how special. So congratulations, and I know you're going to do well, and, and all of that stuff, and you could talk circles around me, I'm sure. So I, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wasn't she well spoken? Yes. yes. We're going to get Maya, Maya, your um, congratulatory gift for doing this is that you don't have to sit through the rest of the meeting. <laughs> um, everybody else does. Uh, but if you come to the other side, we're going to get a quick picture, okay?
Motion made and second. Any questions on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Lastly, the next curriculum committee meeting will be held in August of this year. Thank you.
Motion made, second. Any questions on the motion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed aye. The ayes have it. Resolution 256. Approved 2023 Real Estate Tax Assessment Appeal Program. Second. Motion made and second. Any questions on the motion? All those approved, say aye. Aye. Five nay. Two resolution 257. Approval of 2023 District Tax.
Board policy, Mrs. Kozar. Thank you. I move for the adoption of resolution number 262, the final adoption and approval of the board policies and attachments of this single letter. And I assume you all read them. Second. Motion made. Second. Any questions on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Aye. And we also have a first reading of the board policy list below, which is policy 117, which is um, a, some slight changes in our home bound instruction policy. I'm <coughs> just going to keep going, Mr. McConnell. So our EWCTC Joint Operating Committee meeting will be tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. And I just want to say how wonderful the senior recognition ceremony was last evening. It was, it was really a it was a very nice program. It always is, but the kids were, the young women were dressed in beautiful black dresses, and the young men were in white shirts and black ties, and they just, they just looked great. They always look great because they usually have some EWCTC jacket or shirt or something on, but they looked very grown up. And I, I thought, I thought when Mr. Campbell had them stand, Oh, for that was the, the most moving for the various. Um, so, Mr. You know, go ahead. Mr. Campbell is the principal at EWCTC. We have a director who oversees the whole program, and then we have a principal like our high school principals. Um, and Mr. Campbell's job was to ask the students to rise, and he listed the number of different events and programs they were involved with, from National Technical Honor Society to Skills USA to how many are going into the military, to how many are going on to technical school, how many are going on to a four-year college, how many are employed, and everyone in the whole class stood up. It was awesome. It's a really powerful thing when at the end of that, the entire class is standing. It's, it's a really, I always get to marry it. <laughs> so thank you for coming, Dr. Laughlin, and Mr. Music was there. Many of the administrators, Mrs. Pellegrini was there. It was, a, it was a really lovely And Mr. Engel. Um, Technology, Mr. Hauser. <laughs> no report. Glad to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> My buddy. <laughs> Superintendent recommendations. I ask the board to move on resolution number 263, resignations, Brookside Hockey, Courtney Hauser, and Ashley Cole. I did. Motion made and second. All those in favor, of any questions on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 I ask the board to move on resolution number 264, for professional personnel substitute teachers, Raven DeTilka, Gabrielle Vancho, Anna Salanzi, and Phoebe Schwears. So moved. Uh, motion. motion made and second. Any questions on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Motion passes. Resolution number 265 to approve support personnel appointments classified as listed. So moved. Second. Motion made and second. Any questions on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Ask the board to move on resolution number 266 to approve Sherry Campbell as an additional school police officer effective May 25th. Um, she will be sworn tomorrow in front of uh, Magistrate Navy. Motion made and second. Any questions on the motion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, aye. aye. Ask the board to move on resolution number 267 to approve summer athletic department intern. That is Bryce Butler. He is a student at West Liberty University. Resolution number 268 to approve support personnel, 
supplemental, Jacob Rice as the boys' soccer head coach, and Rachel Fry as our cheerleader pep head coach. So moved. Aye. Motion made and second. Any questions on the motion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. The vote aye. Nay. The aye have. Before I get into other business, I want to congratulate um, Mrs. Kosar and Mrs. Maines. I believe you set a world record tonight for motions and seconds <laughs> in, in, a, in a board meeting. I mean, I've been coming for 25 years now. I, that was uh, a record that came in there tonight. Thank you very much you for, do all the heavy lifting. for moving it along. <laughs> um, other business, uh, the Senior High School um, Awards Assembly is uh, this Thursday at the Senior High School. The uh, school walk. How many years now from the school walk, Mr. Baines? I know I ask you this all the time. Five, Five years. And I, uh, LES, kids were making posters for the seniors. And um, uh, I was at Bagley this week to do superintendent's awards. I've got to do superintendent's awards at Mountain View and LES next week. But Mrs. Stewart was talking to her kids about how she looked forward to those sixth graders coming back through the building. And, uh, you know, we talked about how time flies. Um, at graduation this year, I will be uh, congratulating kids that were in my first full kindergarten class at Bagley Elementary School. <laughs> but time just flies. You know, you're in sixth grade and then bam, it's there. So uh, I do like the school walk. Back, not that I don't like everything else, but it's a really neat uh, new tradition. Hey, wait, you said that. You were, you were in the class? <laughs> oh. I was lucky to make it out of kindergarten. <laughs> I've said this before. I used to think that my elementary school teachers held my hand when I was at the front of the line because they liked me. It was just because I was the ordinary one. Um, baccalaureate service um, is Tuesday, May 31st. Uh, no school on Monday the 30th due to Memorial Day. Uh, and graduation next Wednesday night at Memorial Stadium. Uh, and our last day of instruction, obviously, we have a half day next Wednesday. Uh, our uh, Next board meeting dates, uh, we do have meetings in June the 14th and the 21st, both at 7 here in the CSC. That concludes my section. Okay, Vice President McConnell. This brings us to the uh, hearing on the business part two. Anybody has something they want to say or bring it to our attention? Please come up to the Come up to the podium. Oh, state, yeah. state your name and your address. Hello. I get to film this. It's okay. Can you state your address, please? My address? It's in Langenary. Sure. Did he not give his name? He did not give his name. Uh, I, I can give you my name. What's that? I can give you my name. My name's Dave Madden. And I've uh, been trying to get a hold of you for quite some time. Are you, are you a resident of the district, sir? Uh, no, I'm not. We usually, we usually reserve speaking just for the residents of the district. That's okay. If you want to deny it. If you, if you have I, It's just a couple of seconds for a so second. Wait, wait. Let me, let me speak. If you, if you have any questions or if you want to talk to any of the administrators or board members, I'm sure they'll be very happy to wait with you at the end of the meeting and we'll okay. speak to you about it. Well, Otherwise, we do reserve the speaking for the residents, please. You do? Yes, sir. Okay. Is that in your paperwork? Is that written yeah, out? That is what we do, sir. But that means it has to be written down. You got a policy. Sir, that's what we do. Okay. So can we please sit down? Okay. And when we're done here, I think anybody would be happy to talk to you or answer any questions. I hope Dr. Ronald will. Thank you. What did you say your name was, sir? I Hey, Dave Madden. Dave Madden. Okay. I, I don't remember getting the correspondence. Okay. 269. Congratulations, 269. Adjourned for a minute for no other person who wants to talk. I just would like to make a comment about the proposed budget we discussed and just to point out again. Um, when we do the proposed budget, we are waiting for information on state money to come in. We are not allowed to expand the budget, but we can make it less, um, and that is obviously what our goal will be and what I hope it is accomplished. Um, but that is why I vote yes, because at this point it's a proposed budget. So we cannot go higher, but we certainly can go more. Thank you, Dr. Seeing nobody.
anybody else at the podium entertain a motion to adjourn? Second. Thank you. Motion made and second. Any question on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you, Mr. Hall, sir.